country's first flight was a Pusmot service from Karachi to Bombay in 1932. The first international flight took off from Bombay to London. Meanwhile, Indian Airlines was formed in 1953 by the merger and nationalization of several small airlines flying mostly within the Indian subcontinent. Over the next two decades, Air India's network grew, connecting India with key cities overseas. And in 1960, Air India entered the jet age with the arrival of the first Boeing 707. A decade later, the Boeing 747 Jumbos arrived, the first aircraft aptly titled Emperor Ashoka. Talking of kings brings to mind Air India's iconic Maharaja, recognized the world over for warm Indian hospitality. Indian Airlines alongside made history of its own by entering the wide body age with Airbus A300s in 1975 and in 1989 became one of the world's first airlines to acquire fly-by-wire Airbus 320s. The new millennium saw dramatic developments in the civil aviation sector in India. The market grew exponentially. Several new airlines emerged and Air India and Indian Airlines were merged, creating India's largest airline network. The new airline refleeted and modernized inducting the Boeing B777 and the B787 Dreamliner in 2012. With its primary hub based at Delhi's modern T3.
for those of you who live in India, you'll understand what I'm going to say. Now, I think this is a 300 crore blockbuster, guys. <laughs> and this is what the Maharaja has ordered for 2019. You know, when you've flown an airline since you were born, it just feels very, very special to see them like this in an all new avatar. More power to you guys, yeah. All right, all the best for 2019 Air India. The all new wardrobe now unveiled at the Global Aviation Summit, the most enduring fashion show I've ever seen in my life. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the event that is being presided by Dr. Almuyeva Bernard Aliu, President of the Council ICAO, is now on. It's a closed door meet that's happening at Grand Salon 2. Right here in this hall, we head into the next session Aviation Growth. The changing geography of manufacturing. Now, this will be a discussion on manufacturing opportunities, capitalizing growth, and the unique challenges that they face in a highly regulated industry like ours. I request everyone to kindly place their mobile phones in silent for this uh, session. I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Anand E. Stanley, President and MD Airbus India, to please moderate this session along with participants, Mr. Adam